a Labour MP was forced to withdraw a brutal attack on the Prime Minister after branding him a mad hatter and a liar. Labour and cooperative MP Lloyd Russell Moyle absolutely lost it at Boris Johnson in a ferocious tirade at Prime Minister's questions which forced Speaker Lindsay Hoyle to intervene. The Prime Minister hit back accusing Mr. Russell Moyle of not knowing what HES talking about following the attack. The MP for Brighton Kemp Town hammered. Happy and birthday to him. Just like the Mad Hatter, he didn't need the excuse of a birthday to have a party. But it did help didnt it. When he had groups of people singing to him when gatherings of people and communal singing we banned. My constituents think he lied to his house, and my constituents think he lied to them. I would prefer to be led by a lawyer, not a liar, will he now resign? Mr. Speaker Hammond, the Honourable Member will be withdrawing that last comment. Mr. Russell Moyle said, I withdraw it. That's what my constituents think. But the comment sparked Boris Johnson to hit back in response, slamming, well, I think that the honourable gentleman, I am afraid, in everything he said just now, plainly doesn't know what he is talking about. What I can tell him and his constituents is that irrespective of what they want to focus on, and I understand why they do, this government is going to get on with the job. Dot. It comes as ITV News reported that up to 30 people attended a June 19, 2020 birthday party for Mr. Johnson. It is understood wife Carrie Johnson and Downing Street staffers sung happy birthday and ate cake, despite lockdown rules at the time banning such indoor gatherings. It comes as Metropolitan Police Commissioner Dame Cressida Dick said her force were now investigating potential breaches of COVID-19 regulations as part of a criminal investigation into the bashes. The Met are investigating eight out of an alleged 16 rule-breaking parties held at No. 10 and on the parliamentary estate. This will come alongside senior civil servant Sue Gray's report into potential rule-flouting parties which could be released as early as today.